Hey everyone, good evening, good evening. Um, wanted to come up here tonight as I was sitting in my living room actually about to take a nap and then the Lord gave me a word that he wanted me to share with you all and so coming up here live uh, to share the word from the Lord and if you're on with me tonight let me know that you're on uh, as well as share this message. Share this message, regardless if you're watching from Facebook, if you're watching from YouTube. Uh, I want you all to share it because this is a word from the Lord. And as I know, it being a word from the Lord is truly going to bless someone tonight. <clears throat> and the message that the God, that God gave me to share with you all tonight is titled, Don't Just Watch, Do. And I have to tell you, so I was I was sitting in my living room tonight and I was watching a teaching and the teaching was about being strong. It was Prophet Lovey, and as he was speaking, and after I finished watching the message, I came across um, some posts on my timeline. And as I saw the post, uh, I just started to, to speak again. It said, I just started to pray. And the Lord really put in my spirit how uh, what we're doing as believers, and I really want to share the message that God gave me, how there are things that are going on in this world, things that are going on. Uh, even in your lives, in your families. And the reason why things aren't changing is because many of us are in a place to where we're just watching. Many of us are, and when I'm, and this is a word for believers. So if you're someone that's not a believer, this message is not for you, but this is for believers, how many believers are in situations, have things going on because we've just been watching. We see things happening with our families. We see things happening with our children. We see things happening with our loved ones. And yet, instead of doing what God has commissioned us to do, we're just watching. And so I want to share a few scriptures with you tonight that the Lord gave me to share. And the first scripture uh, that I'm going to share is where the Lord talks about how he's given us. Uh, he actually talks about how we are to speak. And I did a teaching about this not long ago. But if you look at the scripture, and I'm going to pull it up here, uh, it's 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. And it talks about how we are to speak as believers, because God has empowered us. God has equipped us to speak against situations and things that are happening. It doesn't even have to be someone that you know, but you could see wrong that's happening. And sometimes instead of speaking about it, we're watching, we're gossiping about it. Uh, we're running to others to talk about it instead of addressing it the way that the Lord has instructed us to address it. And so you look at 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11, it talks about, it says, if anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. And if you look at another translation, it talks about if anyone is to speak, that we are to speak as an oracle. And you think about the very words of God how in the Bible, when when even when God's prophets speak, how situations change, how waters parted, because the very word of God changes things. And so what the Lord is saying, even in this scripture, is letting you know that your words has the power to change things. It has the power to change things for the better and for the worse. As we know, the scripture talks about life and death is in the power of the tongue. And so the things that you spoke, you speak the things that you speak on a daily basis, regardless if it's uh, just even in, hey, I'm making a joke, everything that we speak carries weight. And sometimes yet, instead of using the words that we have to speak life into our situations or to speak death in places where there should be death, whether it be something that your family member is going through, something that's going on in your life, to where it should be death that's spoken to it, it should be curses that are broken. It should be strongholds that are pulled down. Many times, instead of speaking against those, we're positioning ourselves to accept them. And we're in a position where we're just watching. And so what the Lord reminded me of today is he reminded me even the story about the dry bones. When you look at the dry bones, how instead of praying over the dry bones, how he said prophesy, prophesy, speak to the bones and they will come to life. And so I came up here today to really talk about that because I feel like many of us are in a position to where we've just been watching. We've been watching our, our children, even when you look at media entertainment, 
uh, different things that have been influencing uh, our children, things that even uh, I would say some of us, <laughs> things that we've been watching, how God has called us to speak to it. He's called us to speak over it. He's called us to tear it down. But yet again, many of us have not taken our stand. And the reason why we haven't taken our stand is because we forgot who, who God is. We don't know the God that we serve. We don't know the power and the authority that God has given you. And so I'm sharing with you today, regardless of what's going on in your life, speak to it. Speak to it. Say, Lord, you know what? This door that's been closed, Lord, I speak now that that door will open. Lord, those opportunities that are for me, I speak now that those opportunities will come. Lord, I see this situation going over here. Lord, I speak against it that it won't even, um, even my child that is a hear it, God, they will walk away from it, Lord, that it will have no, no, that it will have no impact on them, Lord, that they'll, they'll hear it and turn the other direction. But we have to remember that as believers, we have a role. We have things that we have to do. We can no longer be people that just sit and watch. We can no longer be people that are gossiping. We can no longer be people that are sitting here saying, you know, my shoulda, woulda, couldas. God has empowered you. And if you don't know about the power and the authority that God has given you, I see um, Timothy's put some scriptures here. Go and read. That's another thing, too, is we don't read the Bible. We don't know what we have as as children of God, as, as we have rights to the kingdom, we are a child of a king. And, and through Christ Jesus, we have access to everything. But many of us don't even know what we have because we don't take the time to read. We don't take the time to seek the one who gave it to us. And so this word is really to tell you, first off, you have to know. You have to know the power that God has given you. You have to know the authority. Even when you have sickness, God has, and, and this is one thing too, in the, in the New Testament, how it talked about signs that are to follow those that believe. It says they shall heal the sick and they recover. And when you think about that, it didn't say they shall pray and then the sick will get well. No, it says to do, to heal. And so I just want to encourage you all. This was a word, y'all. I tried to lay down, take a nap. The Lord just kept pushing me like, no, go speak, go speak, go speak. And so this is a word that I really want you all to take to heart and really take the time to sit down and, and read and start to speak to situations instead of just watching. But I love you all. I pray that you're having an amazing Sunday. Uh, and if you're not following uh, my pages, uh, subscribe to my YouTube page. Uh, if you haven't seen the group, join the group uh, on Facebook, Bible Study Amongst Friends. Uh, if you're someone that's listening to this message and say, hey, I want to learn more about God. I've been feeling a pull on my life. Uh, then come and join us because what we need to do is we need to be equipped. We need to learn more about who God is. We are, many of us are being reactive when we should be proactive. And so I just wanted to come up here and share this word, but I love you and I'll see you all later. All right. Bye.